What's going on guys? It's Jake here and today we're going to be washing some Game Boys in the dishwasher. Not clickbaiting. So actually, we're gonna be doing two videos in this video. Both of these aren't really big enough to make their own full videos out of, I don't think at least. So I'm just gonna be into one video. The first thing we're gonna talk about is not the dishwasher Game Boys. We will get to that in a minute. I will put up the timestamp in a second if you wanna skip over this first part. I wanted to make a full video out of this, but I, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't think many people will watch it, so I'm squishing it into this video. I'm selling Game Boy Advance mod kits on my website, and it's pretty much the cheapest you will ever find them that's not on AliExpress. If you don't have any interest in that or me talking about my 20% off sale that is store-wide, then you can go ahead and skip to this time in the video and we will be washing Game Boys. I wanted to explain why I'm selling them for so cheap and actually tell you the price, as well as talk about the biggest sale I've ever done that I'm going to do this week, ending Monday, July 26th at noon. But first things first, I'm selling the unbranded Game Boy Advance IPS V2 mod kit on my website for $50 each. On top of that, if you buy three or more, they're $45 each. And actually, right now, during this 20% off sale, that is included. You don't get it even cheaper if you buy multiple because it's already gonna be $40 each, which I believe is the same price as if you bought it from AliExpress but you don't have to wait one to two months for it to get to you. Yeah. Now I live in the US, so if you're international, I don't know if this would be necessarily worth it for you, but it might still be even with shipping because it's so cheap, especially if you buy it in bulk. But I only have a limited number of them, so act fast. <laughs> but let's talk about why I'm actually doing this. I wanted to make the Game Boy mod kits cheaper because it is very expensive to mod a Game Boy right now. Most retailers put it at around $60, which is totally reasonable. I think it's worth that much, but that's not the problem right now. The problem is the Game Boy market and the retro gaming market in general is insane right now. A year ago, I could buy working Game Boy Advances for $30 each, and now, I'm insanely lucky to find a broken one for $30. I just bought a bunch of Game Boys from Japan and they totaled about $30 each. And that's insane. Broken Game Boys from Japan for $30 each. It's ridiculous. In bulk too. <laughs> like that's the only way you're gonna get decent prices. Most people can't afford that. And I cannot control the Game Boy market. But what I can do is buy a bunch of mod kits that have set prices in bulk at wholesale rates and sell them to you guys for cheaper than other people will. And so that's what I'm doing. You might be thinking, that's impossible. But no, I can sell them that low. I can afford to sell them at $50 or less. I don't have anybody to pay but myself, so margins can be lower and I'm very competitive. <laughs> it's not to take away from the other companies, I'm not trying to hurt anybody, but I can do it. But also, like I said, 20% off store-wide. It doesn't matter if you want these cool modded Game Boys, fully modded, ready to go, ready to ship, great wave, all black, doesn't matter, 20% off. You just want normal refurbished Game Boy Pockets or any refurbished consoles, Boom, 20% off. You want some super sick Game Boy macro? 20% off. You want to mod your own? 20% off. These are empty boxes. Don't worry, I didn't slam them into the table. Everything, everything is 20% off. Everything is 20% off. The moment I post this video to July 26th at noon, Pacific. If you want it, you can have it for 20% off. Go check out my website. So, advertisement out of the way. <laughs> Let's go watch some Game Boys. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna be throwing fully 
put together Game Boys in the washing machine, that would break it. But like I said earlier, if you didn't skip to this point in the video, uh, I bought a lot of Game Boys from Japan and I spent like three hours washing them all by hand and it just was so much work, so much time wasted, I had to figure out a better way to do it. And if you don't know, most people are absolutely disgusting, so their handhelds are going to be just as disgusting as them. I needed a quick and efficient way to wash my Game Boys. And I remembered a few years back, Linus Tech Tips actually threw full-on keyboards, computer keyboards, into the dishwasher and they worked. So since I had a ton of leftover old shells from other gross Game Boys that I haven't washed, that I just modded, I bought new shells for them, whatever, I have a whole bucket full of them. So I decided to throw those in the wash because if it got destroyed, then I, I wouldn't care. <laughs> Let's uh, load up the dishwasher and see what happens. According to like the dishwasher standard, I don't know, the water doesn't get to a high enough temperature to melt ABS plastic, which is what most Game Boy shells are made out of. I don't wanna say all of them, but most of them. So we should be fine and let's just see what happens. Ugh. Okay, here we are. A ton of Game Boy shells. They're all washed, they're all clean. They feel very clean actually. This turned out really, really well. There are a few problems though. Some of these, I left the screen lenses on. Uh, I also left some of the metal shields on. I would leave it so it's literally just the shell, just the plastic, things like this. This got pretty soap scummy. That was the biggest menace to this project. I'm sure most of it will just wipe off. I saved these with all the soap scum on it to test it, and then I didn't grab a rag. I'll go grab a rag in a minute, but like you can see along the bottom here, there's just a ton of soap and it like it scratches off. I wouldn't scratch it off, but I'm hoping that a wet rag will just wipe it right off. I'll show that later though. There's also soap scum around like the screws and stuff, which again, probably take a wet toothbrush and wipe it off. Maybe a wet towel will wipe that off. I don't know. But otherwise these all turned out really good a lot of these were covered covered in dirt and washed right off didn't have to sit there and scrub it and scrub it after soaking for like two hours no it's not gonna make the white shells that have yellowed and it's not gonna make them white again uh, i am gonna try bleaching it to see if it doesn't totally destroy the shell, see what happens there. But that'll be another video, or I might just make a post on Instagram, follow me there. So when I did the second batch with the DSs, they all turned out great, and no soap scum. That is because I used Rinse Aid. I would try it out for yourself. Again, I would just do the shells, no metal, no screen lens, just the shells, just the plastic, and if you can, use rinse aid. If you can't, let's test to see if we can just wipe off the soap scum. Ooh, you know what? Okay, this has been sitting for like a week, to be honest, but it's not wiping off. Yikes, okay. Um, well, I was very confident that I would just wipe off. There were a few spots on here and they wiped off of the screen lens, but they did not wipe off of the gray shell. So, so if you're gonna try this, I highly, highly recommend using some sort of rinse aid. Uh, and if you do see soap scum, try and wipe it off right away. But if you have a bunch of old shells that are disgusting that you don't wanna take the time to clean individually, then this is a great way to do it. Like this shell was nasty. You could eat off of this, literally, because it was washed in the dishwasher. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, listen to Brittany. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Only 1% of my viewers are actually subscribed. 
Yes, that is a real stat. Check out the website, 20% off sale. Everything is 20% off. Also, I have a Patreon. No one, no one follows it or subscribes to it or whatever you call it. No one gives me money on there, <laughs> but it's there and there are benefits. So go check it out. But I think that's all for this one. So I will see you guys in the next one. Later guys. Also, yeah, no one, no one's bought a shirt yet. So you clearly all want my dog to be homeless and starve. How dare you?